I know Barris Offie has been a fan favorite for a really long time. I know because anytime I've been to a convention, people are asking what happened to Barris? Why did she turn on Ahsoka? What, I, I don't know the answers to, I haven't known the answers to any of it for a really long time. Um, Dave is a dear friend. And when I speak to Dave Filoni about her character, you know, he, he'll give little hints, um, but it's beyond exciting to be back as Barris Offie in this new show, Tales of the Empire. It's uh, finally sort of giving me as an actress a nice resolution to see what she's been going through. And um, the idea that she's been in jail for the for the for quite a while, actually, and giving her time to think about her behavior and her actions at the end of the Clone Wars um, and it, her sort of betrayal to Ahsoka, I think, has made her think about a lot of things. And so when we find her at the beginning of Tales of the Empire to see the conflict that she's presented with and the choices that she's presented with and an opportunity to shift her destiny, um, whether she likes the choice she has to make or not has been incredibly interesting and conflicting and makes for a insane and very intense emotional arc for her. Barris Afi is a force of nature. When we first meet her under Luminara Unduli, she's really really focused on trying to do things by the book. There's a conservative nature of her really focusing on the ancient Jedi texts and wanting to be the best Jedi she can be and doing everything by the book and being precise and being good. And there's this morality that she has that gets tested when she starts noticing things that she's not happy with, with the Jedi order. Um, and to see her finally be a free thinker, as opposed to following all of her orders, I think it's because she's been hanging out with Ahsoka and Anakin, who are sort of more free thinking. Um, I think she moves in a direction that seems very dark. So to find her in this new series, uh, struggling with what path she wants to take and what destiny lays ahead for her, uh, first of all, shows that everybody has an opportunity to shift their destiny based on their actions. And I think that's an incredible message. And so what we're about to see for her is very exciting. For me, what makes Barris Offy so compelling is that you see her struggle with her inner feelings. You see her wanting to hold on to her values. Um, she believes very deeply in the ancient Jedi texts. Um, she's compelling because she has to struggle with what she's been taught and what she sees. And she's compelling because she makes a choice that I don't think most people would have made. Um, and I think she was so tied to her choice that you almost sometimes when you make a mistake, you kind of have to double down on what you've done so that you don't look bad or, um, but she's compelling because I think she has the capacity to step back and sort of see things and, and she can judge herself. I think she can look at herself and step back from her actions and sort of justify why she did what she did. And I think she has the capacity to hold on to her center and perhaps want to be a better person or handle the options she's presented with in uh, a different way than she had before. But we don't know really. We'll see how she goes on that one. Barris in Tales of the Empire, I think, has learned a lot in her time from her time in prison. I think she knows how to survive. I think she has a deep moral center, but I think she's also aware that sometimes you have to do things you don't want to do. Um, and I think she's trying her best to do what she thinks is right. Um, I think she's smarter than she was in the Clone Wars. I think she's grown up a lot. I think she made some choices during the Clone Wars when we last saw her that were poorly executed on her, on her behalf. She sort of had some moral compass that she's trying to follow and she handled it 
in a way that I don't think present day uh, Barris would still handle. I think she's given it a lot of thought. I think she knows who she is. I think she has a certainty now of who she is and how she's going to have to handle the choices in front of her to get through it and to survive and maybe to change, but we'll see how her actions take her.